In this video, I wanted to review the paid version of Sprout invoices and discuss the features and add-ons that this uh, this service offering has, uh, and show you the back end and the front end of the uh, platform. So, Sprout invoices is an invoicing plugin for WordPress, uh, and it works really well. The paid version offers you a lot, uh, a lot more than many. Um, invoicing solutions like QuickBooks and stuff like that, at least in our opinion, and it works very well for what we what we use it for. Um, as you can see, there are a lot of integrations, a lot of templates, and a lot of add-ons. We really like this because there's high support for uh, customizing it to meet your needs and and uh, developing off of the base plugin. So they give you a lot of code snippets, uh, as you can see here. So basic snippets that you might be able to use to extend the functionality. And they also give you a documentation of advanced features. So you can go in with the PHP and change all of the templates, change a bunch of individual things. Uh, and it will just, it will, they'll walk you through this with this. The support behind the plugin is amazing. We had a couple questions about building a custom template. They got back to us. They said they needed to do some research uh, did their research for a few days and came back to us with a big list of things uh, that we could use. So that was very helpful. Uh, there's a free version and there's a paid version. The free version is what the paid version sits on top of and the paid version gives you access to a lot more features. Um, the free version works well. We just needed more than what it had to offer. So we began uh, purchase, well, we purchased the paid version and began using it. So now I'm going to show you the back end of it. Uh, keep in mind, this is a really large screen that I'm on, so it looks weird, but on a normal screen, it looks perfect. Uh, this right here is the reports. You get a bunch of individual reports, and then you get a bunch of individual settings and features from here. So uh, I'll just show you a couple settings on the back end. You get a ton of uh, payment processing settings so you can process on the website and you can also process off the website we always try to process off the website just because it's more secure but if you want to uh like have somebody enter the credit card number on your invoice you can do that here as well we're only using stripe you can use a bunch of other things too uh, but stripe is really the the best thing for us the add-ons behind the plugin really are what make it so powerful so as you can see these are all paid but as you can see once you get a paid version you get access to all these add-ons uh, and if you read through them you can really extend this to to do really whatever you want so uh, print the pdf uh, time tracking time tracking connected to woocommerce uh, have payment terms and conditions the two major things we're using are partial payments and deposits which are partial payments and deposits, and then also a legally binding uh, document signature with WordPress e-signature, which is another paid solution, but uh, it, it gives you that ability to integrate with that. So the flow that you'll take with Sprout Invoices is sending a client an estimate and then transforming that estimate into an invoice when they accept it. So I will show you here. First off, you can add individual clients to your management system. So it becomes like a, a customer relations management system as well. So you can add your individual client and then from that client, you can create an estimate and assign the estimate to the client. So here's your basic estimate uh, interface. So click add estimate and you'll make an estimate. Uh, you can title it, you can add as many tasks as you want. You can nest the tasks, um, you can there are a bunch of different types of tasks. So you can add a task, service, product, or expense. Um, and from that, you have a different, different uh, entries here. So right now, we're charging uh, $132 for the first thing and uh, $12 for the second thing, subtotal $144. Underneath the actual uh, elements of the invoice, you have a lot of individual features. So we've assigned this, this estimate to Isotropic Design, so it will email to estimate to isotropic. Uh, you can attach it to a project. You can change the template. You can attach the document that you want to be signed with this. This is with the WordPress e-signature. Uh, you can restrict it so password protected or the client needs to log into your system uh, and just a bunch of other things. You also have view tracking. You can send it uh, to an email address, which is what we do. It will create an HTML email 
and send it to the address. You can also have it uh, automatically convert to an invoice, have somebody do a deposit before you begin the service, which is something that we typically do, so I'll show you how that works. Um, they're recurring and subscription invoices and then terms, notes, features, stuff like that. So I will show you the invoice on the front end, the estimate on the front end now, and this is what gets emailed to clients. And as you can see, uh, our task, our product, our customer, our information, uh, subtotal, all the notes are here in one screen. And this gets emailed to your customer and then they have the option to decline the estimate or accept the estimate. In our case we have the signature set up so to accept it you need to sign. Uh, clicking on this brings you to the WordPress eSignature interface screen and reading through it you need to sign to continue. Uh, so you do that by entering your name and then you sign the document. And this is actually a, a emulated iPad on Chrome, just so I could get the aspect ratio right. So this is the uh, the mobile version of that WordPress e-signature. So now our estimate has been approved, and uh, we have signed it. And then automatically, the client, which in our case is us, will get sent a uh, an invoice from that estimate. So that estimate automatically trans forms into an invoice so it's 407 and then you can activate that you can also have it automatically activate but I wanted to show you the features and functionalities behind it before doing that so as you can see everything is carried over to your invoice except now it's time for the client to pay the invoice so I'll show you what the invoice and the payment works how, how it works on this screen so your as soon as they accept the uh, the document, uh, it transforms into an invoice, and then from that invoice they can pay. We have it set up to have another signature, but you can decline the signature, you can remove that. And again, this is a paid uh, addition to the to the plugin, and you need another paid plugin called uh, WP e signature. So just really quickly. Um, We will sign our document and continue through. So now here's your invoice. It's basically the same thing. Uh, as you can see, we have our deposit of $50 set up and we have the balance of 144. So you gotta pay 50 to get the service started. Uh, and the entire estimate is 144. So making your payments very simple. You click make a payment, pay with Stripe, and then it toggles your Stripe interface. You can do it with any of the uh, payment options you've set up. You can set up multiple payment options, stuff like that. Once it gets paid, it gets recorded here, uh, and and you basically are able to get paid by invoicing your client. It's a very uh, powerful, well-designed system that's also very simple. Uh, the the um, if we go back here, the templates that I showed you, these are somewhat customized, but these are the base templates that come with the service you you have your bar down here that come with the plugin I mean it's very well designed out of the box on both the front end and the back end the emails the HTML emails that get sent to you are well designed as well and it's it's just a great plugin for invoicing uh, also one other thing is that you can create a client dashboard so here is the client dashboard for speed up which is the service that we use this for and as you can see, uh, it shows that you have a pending estimate and actually because we transformed it from the estimate into an invoice, it will show that you have a pending invoice, uh, your total is 144, uh, and it thinks that we paid because we went through the Stripe checkout, but it'll show you everything that you need to know on this dashboard and then you can also uh, expand your client dashboard like we did for SpeedUp. So, I hope that gave you a good walkthrough uh, introduction to the Sprout Invoices paid plugin. Uh, there's a free plugin out there, as I said in the beginning of the video, uh, which works well, but you can add on a lot more features and integrations uh, using the paid version of the plugin. So if you, if you want to read through all of it, you can read through all of it on the repository. Uh, and I'll, I'll link all of the the plugins and links and all that in the description below. Uh, the company behind it is great. The, de the development team behind it is great. They, they really 
uh, listen to your feedback, and they also provide great support. Um, so if you're looking for a plugin that will help you invoice clients through WordPress uh, using this this uh, really well-featured platform, in, in some cases I would say it's better featured than some of the commercial software as a service platforms out there, take a look at Sprout Invoices. We've linked it in the description, both the free and the paid version. So take a look and uh, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments below.